Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to make cloud dough as well as frozen baking soda dough. We're going to start making the cloud dough first, which is very similar to play dough. You're going to need cornstarch, baby lotion, the food coloring. You can also use conditioner, but I chose to use the baby lotion because I had it, but either one will work perfectly fine. The measurements for this are one part lotion to two parts cornstarch. I'm using one cup of lotion to two cups of cornstarch, and you're going to want to do that for however many different colors you would like. You start by adding the lotion into the bowl first, and then you're going to slowly mix in the cornstarch. Adding the cornstarch little by little, you want to mix this up really, really well. And now we're just going to keep getting our mix on. When you're mixing it, you're going to notice that it's going to start forming a dough consistency. If it's not doughy enough, then add more cornstarch as you feel you need. Once you've added all the cornstarch, you're going to add the food coloring of your choice. Red stained my hands really, really bad, so you want to be cautious of what colors you're using. And if you don't want to get it all over the place, then maybe just don't use it at all. I will have the directions to both of these doughs on my blog, so look in the description box for the link to that if you want to see the directions written out. Yep, and I'm still mixing. You want to just mix this really, really well. And once you're done mixing, then you have your cloud dough. It is so similar to Play-Doh. It's soft, it's easy to mold and shape into things, and I was really, really happy with the way it turned out. The best way to keep it fresh is to store it in an airtight container. That way it won't dry out and you'll be able to use it again. Bobby really enjoyed playing with the cloud dough. It is very similar to Play-Doh. The best thing about it is I had all of the ingredients already in the house. Let's move on to the baking soda frozen dough. Um, you're going to need baking soda and water and whatever food coloring you want to use. I'm going to be doing three separate bowls, so adding however much baking soda you would like into the separate bowls, and then you're going to add in whatever color food coloring you want. You're going to want to add the water little by little, not to add too much. If you do add too much water, then you can always add more baking soda, but you want to add the water little by little. Now you're just going to want to mix this bad boy up and mixing is just most important. You just want to blend everything together. Now we're going to continue this process for however many different colors you would like. Good lord, could I mix any slower? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Once yours are all done, you're going to add them into the freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes so that they can firm up. I've decided to add some into an ice cube tray so that I can do an experiment with Bobby um, and I'm just pushing them down, packing them into the ice cube tray and then I'm going to put the tray into the freezer for 15 minutes. Once they're done, they should look something like this. So because they're made out of baking soda, they will react with vinegar, so we're gonna watch and see if it makes an explosion. Ew, what is that, Mom? It's vinegar. Ew, vinegar! I'm not gonna do it. Blue it first and turn it into 
to blue. Whoa. <laughs> uh, can I touch it? Yeah. Oh, the master! I'm turning gray. It's cold, huh? Uh huh. He enjoyed making the explosions and it's just a fun thing to do with your little ones. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment letting me know if you've made either one of these before.